Shitty says girls are ucky, yet yummy. What is up? This is Shit Block, and welcome to Dear Shitty, episode number five. All right, a couple things on the agenda today. I'm using a new uh, headset with a new mic with a little foam pad on it. A little bit more advanced. Uh, might sound more intense, might sound more deeper. Let me know what do you think. And also, this is a five pack of 4H doing some kill confirmed, and we just Cold, done, wreck shit up on here. I'm talking the final score is 65 to 6. Good lord. Look at me falling on my ass. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, I got killed. Never mind. Shot me out of the thing. Okay, so uh, one thing got to talk about real quick. Had a quick question uh, about Dear Shitty. The beginning, the intros to Dear Shitty. How come they're funny and how come they're all different? And I wanted them to be like that. So... In the episode, every episode you hear, you see the little, my little, um, uh, you know, intro that I created that says "Dear Shitty," and then I have like different. If you listen to all of them, they're different uh, intros. I wanted it to be like that. Wanted it to be special every episode, um, and I hope it. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys look forward to it. And you know, that's about it. That's what I do. Five seconds. It's five seconds long. I gotta come up with something funny for you. All right. So this gentleman sent me this a couple weeks back and he says dear shitty i hope i'm doing this right but my problem is this i seem to be getting a lot of female attention lately i haven't changed any of my habits and i'm not exactly looking for attention normally this would be cool right but for some reason i only attract older women like 30 year old women and i'm only 20 what the fuck? Well, actually, what uh, WTF? What do you think I should do about that? All right, man. To be perfectly honest, okay? You, you're a young man. You're viral. You're in the peak of your life, man. When I was 20, you, th you know, I would probably murder you just so I could be 20 again. <laughs> I would like totally go vampire or whatever just to be 20 again. Um, sexually speaking, um, you you I mean you don't have like old man strength. That's something that you know you're gonna get eventually. But uh, sexually speaking, you are ready to pounce and attack. Um, even if you're not even into like you know you're not into all that stuff. Believe me, it's there. It's ready. So um, on top of that, okay. Uh, yeah, you're 20, and that's cool. Um, and you got 30-year-olds? Listen, 30-year-olds, their time clock is starting to pick up now. Okay, when you get to like the 30, the 35, 38, this is, this is the glory years of women. This is when women are like, okay, I feel like a woman. Uh, my, my clock is running down. I feel sexual. I feel intense. I, you know, all this other stuff. And, um, you know... They're ready to pounce on you. So between your maximum horniness years and and that girl leading into her maximum horny years, you can have like a really, really good horny time. Okay? Um, and let me tell you another thing. Because, you know, first of all, let me tell you the benefits of, of, what, of why this would be awesome for you. Because girls your age think that they're little princesses, okay? I oh, I'm 20 and I'm hot and and you gotta take me to the club and you gotta buy me buy me this and you gotta take me to the movies and you gotta tell me I'm pretty and I gotta do all this and no, you can't do this and no, I don't wanna do that and did it did it did it did it did it and the list goes fucking on and on. All right, now 30 year old girl, guess what? She's gonna take your ass out. She's going to buy you <laughs> dinner. She's going to know what she wants. She's probably got a good job. 
you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you could go out and treat her and be the, be the man and, and and do all that. But believe me, she will understand, man. She's going to take good care of you because she's expecting you to take good care of her. You see what I'm saying? And on top of that, when it comes to sexually speaking, a 30-year-old, she knows what she likes. She knows what she wants. She's not going to be worried about, oh, please don't do that to me. And, oh, please don't do that to me. And, no, I don't like this. And, no, I don't like that. No, no, man. She's going to she's gonna take you and do things to you that you don't even know was possible. <laughs> Trust me, okay? I know this. When I was wrestling, okay, there was a certain famous female wrestler that... Um, she was known to go after the young pups, okay? She was a cougar before cougars were even, like, the name, the term of Cougarville. You know what I mean? Like, they, they didn't even know about cougars and panthers. Nobody talked about that back in, like, the late 90s, all right? But this girl, she was sexy. She was a cougar. She was all that shit, isn't it? And then, on top of that, okay, I was a young pup, and she loves pups. You're a young pup. Okay, believe it or not, you're a puppy. You're not. You're not the full-grown alpha dog that you need to be yet. Okay, you're a puppy, but the cougars like the puppies. Okay, so this girl uh, met me in a wrestling thing, and um, I don't, you know, whatever my personality. We went. We were all hanging out at a bar or whatever, and you know, she thought it was awesome, <laughs> and she was down to do the deeds. A lot of deeds, a whole bunch of deeds that I wasn't even sure about, but she was ready for it. So I was amped to go, and she showed me stuff, because I used to think that I was, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I had sex before, and, you know, ain't nothing going to be uh, uh, surprising me. I mean, I had a girlfriend for all this time. I had another girlfriend for all this time. No, this girl straight up. I can't even, I'm not even going to get crazy, but, I mean, she straight up told me stuff to do, and, um, that I, I was, like, embarrassed to even try, but after I knew that she was perfectly down with it, and I probably wasn't the first or the last that was dealing with that, um, you know, <laughs> she, it was all good, so, sexually speaking for you, man, this is probably something that you can uh, learn a lot about yourself in a short period of time dating an older woman. Um, and like I said, they're self-reliant, man. They got their own careers. They got their own jobs. They're not going to be needy. They're not going to be begging you to go out. They're not going to. They're going to call you up for a booty call. Period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're just going to be like, yo, you come over. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll do the little date and all that stuff, but then they'll just want to come over and, you know, they just want you to come over and, and do the deed, man, and then you can leave. It's not even about anything like that. So, um, anyways, that's a, that's about it, man. Uh, that's, that's what I got to say about that. So, I would say, if you don't want to do this, then, then that's fine. You don't have to do this, Okay. But this would be something that you'll be talking about, thinking about, and all that stuff for years to come. And when you get older, uh, then you can be dating the younger girls. Because then you're going to have some stacks in your back pocket to, like, date these girls. And, you know, uh, the little little whiny princesses that got the tight bodies that are 20, then, you know, they need a little sugar daddy. You could be that sugar daddy for them. And, you know, then they'll, you know, because you're taking care of them all nice, that's when they'll be all nice with you. But, for now, it is better to go out and, you know, you could date the, you could date the young girls too, but if you get a good older girl uh, that's, you know, you find sexy, I would say go for it. You're going to have the time of your life. You don't have to spend all your money. And everybody's going to be gravy at the end of the day. Wait till you're older to date the young chicks. Trust me on this. You're going you're gonna to know what I'm talking about. Alright. Peace, love, and hair grease. 